Hi, good night. To answer your first question, I agree with the teacher in that cinema is the closest we have to the wire in that we can see and sense and feel how these characters do. Uh, one of my favorite examples was in Disney. I don't know if you guys been there lately, but there's this new attraction. It's a, a movie theater. It's but it has three screens, so it surrounds you. It's 3D. It's actually 4D. So you have the glasses, and you, it's a compilation of <coughs> sorry some of the characters and the most famous songs. And they actually, for example, there's a Little Mermaid, and there's water that comes in your face and bubbles and there's also um, from the little beast be in be our guest there is um, they really smell so you can actually you're seeing the the movie and you're smelling the food and it's that was one of the first moments when i thought that 4d could actually work you know if it's used well um and i see these things because i want to be a filmmaker eventually and the point of view it's very interesting uh, for a director to choose what you're gonna choose where you're gonna show or what not to. And a great example is Rear Window from Hitchcock because the character is attached to his seat as the audience is, so it's very interesting to see how he plays with this restriction. Uh, and to answer your second question, I also think we are already in a moment in our lives where we are not force you, but we are willingly giving this information. We don't actually need advice. People can just go through our social media and see how we're feeling, what we're doing, and it's, you know, it, it, it reminded me of the Facebook article that was released recently about like a year ago when, where they, um, they said that people who were reading more uh, sad posts every day were saddened compared to people who were reading happy posts and they had to eventually say like, oh, we got this information studying people that we chose from Facebook and those people didn't know that they were being studied, but in a way they had already agreed to that even though it didn't, it wasn't mentioned or it wasn't asked. But once you sign up for Facebook and we all know that our pictures and everything we post ends up being a property of Facebook, but that's another another story. But I do think that we are now more willingly giving this information, and because we do it so often, every time that we sign, we have to, you know, sign the contract, the lease of use, and all that. I think we've become a little bit desensitized to this action, and I don't know if it's in a way helping us, and or it's just making us care less about something that is clearly important. Thank you.